Hello YouTube and welcome back to another 3 d ROS tutorial. We've just got a quick Unreal Engine tutorial here again. So today I'm going to show you how to model slash sculpt directly inside of Unreal Engine. So I used this technique to create this terrain area here. I just brought this in as a normal high res plane. And then I sculpted these kind of ridges and dips in Engine. And I'll show you how to do that now. So first you want to enable the plugin and to do that just go to settings plugins and then you want to type in edit mesh and you want to make sure all these are ticked here so tick each one restart unreal engine and come back do be aware at the moment it is in beta so you might have some problems some crashes etc which is to be expected at the moment so with that one out of the way, how do you use it? So I'm just going to duplicate my plane and show you on here first. And I'll show you some more techniques after this. So you want to go to modes, you might have it here or you might have it over here. So just go to modes where you'd find like the landscape tools and now go to modeling or shift six. This will bring you into modeling mode. And from here we can start sculpting on our mesh. So to do that, you can go on to these different tabs, but the main one we're going to look for is to start off with, we want to make sure we've got enough polys. So we're go I'm going to go wireframe, as you can see we've got plenty of polys here. But to change it, you can go remesh plus to add more polys, or simplify which minuses the polys. And I'll show you that in a moment. So the main tool we want is sculpting for this demonstration. So I'm going to press sculpting and now we have, have our our plane. In your case it might be flat because we haven't sculpted anything on yet. But with this, this is just what I created earlier. So in the left hand side you can see we have brush type normal. I usually just keep this on normal. And fall off shape smooth. This just depends on what type of fall off you want. I'm going to go with smooth because I want to create a smooth but bumpy landscape. Strength and fall off, pretty self explanatory. So to start sculpting, just left click and drag and you can start sculpting. To take away the sculpt, hold shift left click. Uh, control left click rather, sorry. And then shift left click is smooth. And then once you're done, you can press accept and it'll create the mesh like that and there you go so some other features you can do is plane cut so you can just kinda cut your mesh uh, you can also so I'll show you the reduce now because as you can see this is very high poly so if we go to triangles simplify It'll kind of dynamesh our mesh if you're similar with, uh, familiar with ZBrush. And then we can just accept that and as you can see it's so much lower poly. And we can just do that again if we want to. And again. And there you go. You've just got the polygons where you need them. And if you want to sculpt some more just remesh it. Increase the resolution. I'm just going to do that again. And there you go. <coughs> Uh, so another thing you can use this for is you can place primitives into your scene. I'm not certain how this would be handy, maybe to like add scatter assets around. But it's not something I particularly used at the moment. But of course it just changes the rotation to the normal direction of your mesh. So if we get some primitives, there's some other cool features you can use. It does have boolean capabilities, so if we just duplicate this cube and bring it up, scale it in a bit. Now if we select both of these, and we cycle through the tabs, we have different options, but under create, we have union, voxel blend, voxel morph, we have voxel boolean so that can cut in like a boolean and there we go as you can see it's cut into the mesh and obviously if we select 
the other way. You can change the order of which one stays and which one cuts in. So if we do that and cut it in, we can accept this. Uh, if we just check the geometry, and see the geometry is alright. But if you want to change the geometry again, you can just go into your triangles tab and then remesh from there. And then of course, just like before, we can start sculpting onto the mesh. And um, you can mirror the object. Make it a bit longer maybe. Like that. So as you can see there's all sorts of different tools, uh, instead of me just sitting there and going through each one, I, I challenge you to just go ahead, give them a try, see what you can create with it, come up with something cool, and uh, yeah, I hope this helped and you find it helpful in your projects. And uh, this has been 3D Ross, I'll see you in the next video.